Welcome to Drill Down Earnings. We have Q3 earnings from Qualcomm just out. Uh, this is the business story behind one stock on the move. Of course, Qualcomm, that really big, important semiconductor a design company. I'm Future Earn Group's Chief Market Strategist, Corey Johnson, and we follow Qualcomm so closely. Uh, Wall Street likes a beat or a miss, and this was a beat, but I want to dig into the business here, what was actually going on. So, so in the quarter, uh, very strong numbers from Qualcomm, kind of across the board. Uh, and specifically, uh, revenues of $9.4 billion dollars earnings per share of a buck 88 um, and uh, really strong growth. I mean, 20% year over year growth from a really big company in terms of profitability uh, and their automotive sector. We'll get to that in a second. First, let's look at what's going on in sales. So sales up 11% in a year over year basis. Uh, and this is a business that had been in a downturn for uh, a, a quite a while. And of course, turning things around in the last few quarters. Uh, and this is the fastest sales acceleration we've seen in years from Qualcomm. And their margins are hanging in there, 24% EBITDA margins or EBIT margins or operating profits, if you like. We like that. We also like what we're seeing in smartphones. Qualcomm is such an interesting proxy for what's happening in the, about to happen really in the mobile business. And there've been a lot of mixed signals coming out of there, no pun intended, but Qualcomm, uh, their handset sales is 73% of the business or 73% of the end market for these guys. And uh, they've done very well, even as they've tried to diversify by getting into the IoT business uh, through acquisitions and some growth there. Growth in mobile is really helping these guys. Uh, and there's a smartphone recovery going underway, 12% uh, increase in their sales into this into the uh, mobile business smartphone business very good for qualcomm maybe the biggest surprise though is the automotive business because we've heard really mixed signals about what's happening in automotive what's happening with automotive semiconductors in particular but in terms of uh, automotive numbers evs and so on qualcomm saw 87 percent year over year growth into what's become a substantial business doing nearly 800 million dollars in revenues. So really strong quarter in automotive, a good quarter in the all important handset market, which means kind of good things for Qualcomm across the board. How did the stock market react? Well, initially the stock bid up quite a bit in after hours trading, then sold off. It's kind of flat uh, at the moment. And uh, for the year though, you've got a stock that's increased 33% and one of the biggest semiconductor companies in the world. Uh, in the call, of course, there were lots of questions about, okay, we see what you did this quarter, what's happening next quarter, what's demand look like? And CEO Cristiano Oman kind of talked about um, across uh, all their major sectors, whether it's in a sequential basis or in a year over year basis, he's seeing improvements. If you look at our handset business, we are growing, uh, we are we're guiding that will grow low single digit percentage on a quarter over quarter basis. IoT, uh, we're guiding low double digit growth and we're seeing uh, strength across industrial edge networking and consumer. And then auto coming off of an extremely strong quarter in June, uh, we're guiding flat revenue uh, in the September quarter. And so all of these, uh, both IoT and automotive are incremental to our previous expectations. And you're seeing that benefit uh, show up in our guidance. So the guidance pretty strong because those businesses, particularly automotive, pretty strong. Qualcomm likes it and what's not to like? Let's dig into this just a little bit further. I'm gonna give you one number to remember that takes away uh, really the, the summary of all the important results here in the Qualcomm quarter right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. So Qualcomm third quarter, fiscal third quarter, earnings ending in the month of June. Here's your essential summary or drilled on earnings takeaway. 9.4 billion in revenue. But the thing that really jumped out here was their big handset business. Their, their automotive business did great, really big growth, but it's a smaller business. Their massive handset business was up 12% on a year over year basis. And that helped pull up all the results for Qualcomm. All right, thanks for listening to Drilled on Earnings. I'm Corey Johnson. And you can check me out at X at Corey TV and Instagram and TikTok at Drill Down Pod and all of our earnings reports at the 6.5 Media page on YouTube.